G'day, Argy Bargy crew. Hope you're having a fantastic day today and your family's happy and healthy. I uh, decided I'd pull the Scania T and the Scania NGT, or T-Cab, out of the mothballs and give them a run. And um, upon doing so, I noticed a few things. The uh, Obviously, the mods are not quite up to date with the 1.50 version of the game. And I'll show you what I mean. If we zoom around here. If you look down the bottom here, you'll see these two lights here. Uh, the, the textures aren't rendering correctly. They're pink. And if you look up the top here, you'll see that the uh, textures on the horns aren't rendering either. They're pink. Now, all lights, all these lights you see here, front were pink when I uh, pulled it out of the garage. Same on the side here. They were all pink, so I've had to replace them. And also, let's just do this. On the, I don't think it was on this one. No, it was on the NG. Um, the fenders and whatnot were a pinky color as well. So the, there's quite a few. Oh, on the back end of this was pink, so I had to change the uh, rear end of the truck. But I've got it as close as possible. It doesn't affect how the, the truck drives or anything else in the game. It's just the visuals. So it's not too bad for an old um, mod that hasn't been updated for about a year, I think, um, that you've only got a few little textures that are wrong. So I can put up with that because I love this truck and I want to give it a, a run, uh, dust out all the cobwebs because it hasn't been taken out for a run for a while. And like I say, the other vehicle that uh, I pulled out was the, the next gen of this, which is the... T cab and what we'll do is go in here and I'll show you that one and uh, this one scan your T cab scan your ST cab as you can see just quickly already the uh, there's quite a few things that aren't rendering on it correctly and again it was all the lights now as you can see along the side here I've had to replace the lights but even the the chrome piece said you could see it's not rendering correctly uh, all these lights at the front I had to replace because they were um, not rendering. And unfortunately, I can't replace these lights here on the side. If I turn the lights on, you can see their lights. Um, <clears throat> but they're not rendering correctly. Also, on the back end, the mud flap, I can't get rid of that. For some reason, it's just it's always there. Now, I'll show you um, what I mean. Rear fender. So if I go here, you can see the pink non-rendering colors that you get when uh, there's a problem. So if I go back to that, at least I can get rid of that. But for some reason, that won't disappear. These won't disappear. And also, I had to change the spoiler back end because anything with lights, if you have a look at that, all the lights aren't um, rendering correctly. So I had to change that to just standard paint without lights. Interior-wise, you've got a problem with the dash and the uh, trims here. They're not rendering correctly. And the seat belt and the bottom of the seat, I think that's it. Oh, yeah, and then back here. Thinking that's either chrome or grey, a type of grey colour that isn't rendering correctly for some reason. But apart from that, again, like I say, the truck still dries fine. So there's not a problem there. Um, it's just the visuals that look bad on it. But again, I can put up with it because I, I like both of these trucks and I, I, you know, I want to keep them in my fleet. So also, if you've been following uh, my videos, you'll know that I've just recently moved home and um, took us quite a while to do it. And we uh, had to jump through all these hoops to get into the new house. And just when you're thinking it's great, I mean, I've got myself this new um, YouTube, yeah, studio for my YouTube videos, my own little studio in this house. So everything's working out great. Like I say, we had to jump through a ton of hoops to get into the place, and we finally got into it. And we've been in here for just over two weeks or just under two weeks, and we've been told they're going to sell the house. Bum, bum, bum. So, yeah, not liking it. <laughs> like I say, just when we, things were starting to look up, I mean, I really thought, oh, great, we're in this new house. We're all loving it. 
and uh, the cats are liking it. The dog likes it. We made a cat race out the back. I've just fixed up a whole thing, a whole heap of things that were wrong with the house and to make it our own. And we get a phone call today from a real estate agent saying, oh, can we come in tomorrow and take videos of the house? So the question was, why? And they say, oh, because the owners are selling it. Great. So we've got a 12-month lease, and at the end of that lease, I can guarantee you we're going to be looking for another house. Spend all that money getting into this place and then get to be told two weeks after moving in that they're going to sell it. So that's a bit of bad news, but I'm not going to let it, me, let it get me down. <clears throat> we just have to soldier on. Yeah, so anyway, back to the video. And we'll take the uh, the T or T4. This is actually uh, a mod by RJL. It's the Scania T and T4 series. And you've got all of them in that um, mod. So let's take get a job and uh, take it for a spin. And we can talk some more. Where are we at? We're in Orleans. Oh, some cars. Where's that going? Let's take that job. Actually, no, let's not. I don't want something that long because I want to take both trucks out. So we're looking for something a little bit shorter. They're all too short because they're across the ocean, which means that most of the journey is over the ocean. Let's take a look. Yeah, that's over the ocean as well. Oh, geez, it looks like everything's at ocean bound. That one's not too bad. Let's give that a try. Where is it? It's in Vasa. How long have we got? 40 minutes. Oh, I probably won't make it. What about that one? Where's that? It's in the United Kingdom, and we're going from London. All right, so let's take that job. We've got an hour and seven minutes to get to it. I will just fly there. Go to London, please. Thank you. What's going on? Thank you. Took a while to load. Where are we? Oh, we're upside down. <laughs> okay. Where are we looking like that? Ah, that's better. All right. So we will. Look at down there. Rerouting. All right. So we're just up the road for the pickup. Oh, parking brakes on. Take that off. Hit the lights so we don't get fined. Oops. Oh, that'd be right. Finding Go back around. Exit. Oops. At the roundabout, take the second <laughs> exit. Uh, been thrown off a little bit, guys, because we've been told the house is being sold. But get, I'll down. get my thoughts back together now, and we'll be right. Oh, that's uh, another thing that I did notice, is that um, the windscreen and the dash, if you get the sun in the wrong place, is nearly impossible to read. We're on track now. We should be right.
That indicator sounds just like someone going Continue straight on. with the mouth. <laughs> I'm betting that's what they did for the sound effects. So yeah, so I would say in 12 months time we're going to be looking for another house because we do have a lease for the 12 months so they can't kick us out and uh, the only thing is if they do they have to pay for us to be moved and they have to find us a place to live. So I don't think they're going to do that. Just hope that whoever buys it buys it for an investment and wants us to stay in it. Keep right. Keeping your fingers crossed. Right. But as you can see, getting back to the, the truck, even though it Turn isn't right. exactly up to date, it's uh, it works quite well in 1.5. Oh, where am I going? What? Oh, that's right, I'm in London. <laughs> uh, I get confused again. I was on the wrong side of the road for a minute there. It's a bit disorientating. Although I do drive on this side of the road in Australia, but because I drive this game so much, I'm so used to driving on the right side uh, that it feels weird driving on the left side in the game. But let's step outside and have a look at the track in the daylight. She's a beauty. I don't know what it is about it, I just like the style of it. And like I say, that indicator sounds like someone's just clicking their tongue. Which they couldn't afford to uh, get someone to uh, record the <laughs> instrument. So they just use their tongue. So yeah, like I say, RGL, uh, Scania T and T4 series mod. I'll leave a link in the description for you guys. So if you want to have a look at that, you can. But just again, beware that it's not an updated mod. It does work. It just has those texture problems that you have to deal with. But apart from that, it works well. Um, and yeah, it's a good truck. It's different because it's not the um, cab overs like the normal European trucks. Keep right and then turn right. Turn right. Continue straight on. You have arrived at your destination. All right, let's pick the job up. What's wrong, man? <laughs> I'm doing great. All right, let's take the job. Where is it? It's over there. Ah, there it is, just there. All right. Now I've got precision coupling on, so I've got to get this dead right or else it won't hook up. Oh, beautiful. Love it when a plan comes together. Now before I go any further, I will show you this. Just bear with me. This is the latest version of the 
uh, TCAB that I could find. It's a version 1.4.4. It's actually for 1.48 of the game, but like I say, it does work in the game, no problem. It's just a couple of the textures that um, don't look right, but apart from that, it works fine. So if you're looking for a free mod for the next-gen or new-gen TCAB, uh, it's Ar Azorax modding that does it, but I couldn't find his Facebook page or even on his uh, actual website, his Wix website or whatever it's called. He, it's actually an older version of the truck that's on there, so I think he may have abandoned it. So just be aware of that. I'm not worried about that because if it does uh, become unstable, then I'll just delete it and, and move on. But like I say, for now, it works fine. And I'll leave a link to that in the description below so that you can uh, get to it. And like I say, the other one, which is the RJL, is actually a Steam mod. It hasn't been updated since 2021. But like I say, it's only a couple, only a few minor texture problems with it. Everything else works fine still in, in 1.50. So again, I'll leave a link to them in the description below, and away you go. All right, with that all said, let's drive on. So off we go. What are we carting here? I didn't even look what it was we on cart. It looks like it's cattle or something. Let's find out. So it's live pigs. So we've got how many tons of live pigs? Where are we? 6,000 kilograms. Oh, not many. If any, not many. All right, so it's pigs going to market. This little piggy went to market, eh? Continue straight on. And then turn left. Turn left. Keep yeah, as you left. can see. And then turn whoops. left. As you can see, the dash is being turn left. Um, blurred out because of the sun hitting it. But as you turn a corner, you can see it comes back. So yeah, the glare on the dashboard can get annoying, unfortunately. And yeah, like I said, with the uh, new generation T cab, it's a very similar truck. The interior is slightly different, and uh, the chassis setup is slightly different, but uh, relatively the same truck, just more modernised. Keep Oops, right. speeding. And then turn right. Turn right. Ooh, rolling back. Stop. Now I'm using the open track head tracking system that I made a video of so if you're interested in that I'll also leave a link to that in the description so you can check that all out as well At the roundabout, Ooh. take the second exit Got 
the 810 horsepower uh, heavy specialist lope I think it is in this from uh, JC amateur pack I think it's a Cummins 810 horsepower heavy specialist lope or at least I think that's what it's called oh bit of stuttering there what's going on haven't experienced that for a long time So yeah, I was talking about the cat race that I built at the back for the uh, cats. It's an old Avery, uh, not Avery, an old um, greenhouse that was semi fallen apart. So I decided I'd uh, fix it all back up. Bought some chicken wire, put that across the front of it to uh, keep the cats in. Because our ha cats are house cats. We don't believe in letting them out and letting them attack wildlife or anything like that. Or go into neighbours' gardens and pee and poo. So we keep them inside, but we've made the race so that we can, or the cat house, whatever you want to call it. That doesn't sound right, cat house. <laughs> the cat enclosure. Um, so that uh, they can have a little bit of a roam around. It's quite a big area too for them, and it's, they get direct sunlight, the fresh air, and the dog can't uh, hassle them. He wants to get in there and play with them, but we don't let him because uh, they're a little bit scared of the dog. They don't argue that much. Uh, they just don't tolerate each other too well <laughs> but yeah it, it's worked out well and that's why I'm hoping that we can stay for a long long time but uh, yeah looking at uh, what's just recently happened with them say, saying they're going to sell the house I don't know what our future is now just hope that uh, like I said the, the new owners buy it for an investment and want us to rent it for a long time to come keep your fingers crossed for us guys this is all up in the air again. Let's take a look on the outside. Oops, not too much. Roof cam. Why are we getting so much stuttering? Maybe it is uh, the truck. Like I say, I haven't had that much stuttering for a long time. You gonna let me in, mate? He doesn't want to. Yeah, nice looking truck. Yeah, this head tracking system, I'm just loving it more and more as I play different games because it's uh, not just ETS2 or ATS that it works in, it works in basically uh, every game that I play, except for Alaskan Road Truckers for some reason that game just won't behave itself with anything like I said I've been trying to give that a, a, a another chance a second chance but they have improved it slightly the game's definitely not as buggy or as glitchy as it used to be the performance in it is good uh, but oh I'm speeding slow down but um, it uh, like I say it just doesn't like to play nice Ooh. Keep left and then turn left. So, yeah, like I say, with uh, Alaskan Road Truckers, I'm hoping that it uh, gets its act together. I've recently did a video on uh, Truck and Logistics Simulator, and after playing Alaska Road Trucker, uh, and then jumping into that, it just feels so much smoother, the game just feels a lot more complete. I'm talking about Truck and Logistics Simulator. Oops. 
that uh, just feels so much better. The graphics are so much better. Still not as good as the graphics in um, ETS or ATS. However, they're getting close. That's in truck and logistics. Alaskan Road Truckers is a far cry from the graphics in any game that I've seen. The graphics in um, in Alaskan Road Truckers is poor, to say the best. So drop-off's just up here in Dover. Speeding again. I don't know. <laughs> the Get ready to turn speed one. limit increases. Turn right. Yep, loving this truck. So yeah guys, if there's anything you want to see on my channel, please uh, leave it down in the comments below. Uh, let me know, because I would like to know um, if I'm doing the right stuff by you guys. Just showing you what you want to see. And I'll try my best to accommodate you. Keep left, and then turn left. And this guy's not going to let me in. Turn left. Yeah, the game's a little bit glitchy, actually. It's, it's strange. I will um, look into that after I've done this video to find Get out what's causing it. Because right. uh, recently it's been fine. No glitching or stuttering. Turn right. Now, where are we parking? Looks like you we're over to the right. Yep. There it is. Okay. Let's see how we go. Swing out wide. Come back. The good thing about this truck too is it's uh, twin steer. So um, as far as maneuverability goes, it's quite good. Right, jump back in. See if we can get it around on a good enough angle to get it into that parking spot. Looks like we will. Keep an eye on those mirrors. Beautiful. Beautiful. That worked out well. Excellent. Let's hop out. Have a look how straight that is. Yeah, pretty close. Drop her down. Let the piggly wigs go to their market. Alright, so yes, 130 kilometres, an hour 47, 57 litres of fuel and we made 3,496 euro. Thank you very much. All right, so that is the, uh, like I say, the RGL uh, T and T4 series mod and uh, it works well in 1.5 except for those rendering problems. So if you can put up with them, it's a mod you might want to have a look at. Okay, that's uh, the end of part one. I've had to make it a two-part uh, series because uh, I didn't realize it was going to go so long. So uh, yeah, hopefully you'll stick around and check out part two 
Uh, and if you do like this video, please hit the thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. Also, um, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. It's free, you might as well. And uh, share with your friends. That also helps. So uh, hopefully we'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.